Hey everybody, I'm the Kepbo of PubClub.com and I'm here to give a plea to the college students around the USA to ask you to please, please, when you're in public, when you're on campus, particularly when you're standing in line at a bar, please wear a mask. Now I'm not going to let you, you like all the administrators and everybody else and health officials and governors and mayors and everybody tell you it's good for your health and everybody else's health. You've heard that like crazy. What I'm going to do is appeal to your interfund side and explain why you should wear a mask when you're out in public. That's because it is all about perception. And in this day and age with social media and everyone so sensitive, perception is reality. And if you understand this, then you can help save the college football season in the schools that actually still are scheduled to play college football this year. And also, if you at a school like Ohio State or Michigan or USC or wherever, then uh, you can also show administrators and the athletic directors and your school presidents that you're responsible too, and that football should probably go on and be played regardless. The football players are in a bubble. They're fine. It's when they get on campus, that's the big concern. And seeing these pictures on social media of people standing in line and everything without mask on is driving them crazy and it could cancel college football. So you see, it's all about perception. You've got to have a mask on when every round in public, there's too much social media out there, there's too many people out there trying to get page views and likes and media, the clickbait. Oh my gosh, that's just, I just read one today about uh, uh, college students and even though the school um, uh, Student Government Association said, hey, everyone's following it. It's just a media frenzy that's gonna follow this. So you need to wear a mask when you're in public. And when you're in a bar, Okay, we know that the, most bars are going to adhere to the principles, like the owner of Gillette's in Tuscaloosa. He said, I can't control what's in the line, but when people are inside, you're wearing a mask, and I'm only at 25% capacity. So please support your bars and your bar owners by wearing a mask when you're in line. Otherwise, you're going to shut them down. Your college lifestyle is something that's so valuable and treasured. You need to explore and exploit every great, great moment of it. This year is gonna be completely different. But are they gonna send you home now? They're gonna make you take classes online? You're gonna miss the college experience. And college football, even though stadium capacities are down to 20%, 25, 30% at uh, like Texas a and which, you know, they want that, they wanna get that 12 man in there. So uh, you, want, you want to experience as much as the college lifestyle as you can by being on campus and by having the games around you Particularly, you know, even if you're not able to go to the game, then certainly to watch the games at a bar with a mask or with your friends. So anytime you're outside, please, please, please put on a mask. The media is going to jump all over this. Someone's going to post a social media page, a, a social media picture or video. And it may only be 10 people. It may be a fraternity party with 10 people. But they're going to go ballistic. No one's going to report that. It's the perception that college students don't care and just want to party. By the way, not all people they've seen in these lines and taking pictures of are college students. You know that, you're there. I know that, because I'm the Kevbo of PubClub.com. I know that stuff, but I know what the media perception is. So anyone who's out in public on a college campus or around a college campus, if you're in line in a bar, if you're just walking around you know, in Alabama, the quad, if you're just walking around and in a group, Wear a mask if you're gathering at a, you know, let's say there's a game and, a, and you're walking around the uh, normal tailgate area, which there are no tailgate parties and all oh, the Grove, I'm sorry, you know, the Quad of Bama, all these places and all the stuff, sorry, no tailgate, no official tailgate parties. I know you're going to be walking around, but wear a mask. Just do it for the perception of it so you can continue to live your college life as normally and as great as possible. And so we can also have college football. As soon as this thing starts spreading around and all these pictures get around, then they're going to get chicken and they're going to cancel college football at the schools that have them, the SEC, the ACC, the Big 12. And they're going to actually prove the Big 10 and the Pac-12 wrong. I think the Big 10 and the Pac-12 were wrong, and I think it was a bad move to cancel college football for them. And I know the Big 10 said, well, we haven't canceled it, we postponed it. Well, I know that's a bunch of crock because you're not going to be able to play college football 
in the spring and then turn around and play a full season in the fall. That's just, it's not going to happen physically. And, and you know, the logistics of it are crazy. What about recruiting? What about transfers? What about you know, going to the NFL? What about uh, all that other stuff, let alone the increased injury possibilities of playing two full contact college football seasons within one year? I am getting a little off topic because the Kepo loves his college football, which is why I'm here. I'm just telling you the perception is reality. And when you're going out and you're in a group and you're standing in line anywhere you are, if you're at a frat party or anywhere, wear the mask. Because otherwise, the college administrators are going to get a hold of this. They're going to shut everything down. They're going to send you home. You're not going to have any campus life. You're not going to have any college football. And life is just going to suck even more. So that is my announcement for the day. And I am Kevin of PubClub.com. Pub Club. Pub Club. Pub Club. I'm always branded. I'm always looking for... Uh, ways to get uh, PubClub.com out there. Because I care. We did a PubClub Live episode from Tuscaloosa last year. We went live from Glitch. We went live from In the Spring. We were live at the, in and around the stadium. And, and the college lifestyle, I, I miss it. I love, love college campuses. I love college football. Let's keep it going and keep it rocking for this fall. And then let's get over this. Let's make it fun. And let's just have a great time because life, we only got one chance of this thing. We most better make the most of it. I am the Kent Bo of PuffClub.com, and I don't like wearing a mask either. Look, sitting outside, I, I would have zero interest in sitting in Bryant Denny Stadium watching Alabama play Georgia Tech or the Citadel on a hot September afternoon. But, you know, I'd probably do it to watch Georgia. Okay, most of the games are going to be big this year. So wear your mask, don't complain, be smart, show the administrators and the athletic officials and others that you can be responsible. I'm the Kevbo of PubClub.com, and let's get on with it. Have a great, great semester, quarter, whatever you're on, and a great, great football season. Okay, woohoo!